Greetings, everyone, and welcome. Today's topic is undeniably one of the most significant discussions on this channel. We'll be delving into the realm of addiction that impacts millions worldwide, pornography. However, it's essential to understand that this addiction runs much deeper than merely having a desire to watch explicit videos and images. It profoundly connects to our learning processes and the chemicals in our brains. The way your brain responds to this habit is far more intricate than you might imagine. Our primary focus here is not to address the moral aspects associated with this practice. Instead, we aim to shed light on how this addiction can affect your brain, your motivation, and your overall life. If you find this content valuable in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications to ensure you don't miss our weekly videos. It's no surprise that the consumption of sexual content has surged in recent years, possibly due to increased access to technology and the internet. In Brazil alone, more than 22 million people admit to consuming pornography, with 78% of them being men. On the flip side, as the consumption of pornographic material rises, so does the research highlighting the brain dysfunction it can cause. So, let's explore what exactly happens in your brain when you engage with pornography. When we indulge in highly stimulating activities like pornography, it triggers an increase in dopamine levels in our brain. This surge is novel to our brain, and this is where the issues begin. Our brains are wired to feel. We humans are naturally drawn to fresh experiences and the pleasure they bring. When we engage in these new experiences, our brain's neurochemicals responsible for pleasure react, and sometimes, we can even overdo it. The same principle applies when we expose ourselves to a heightened level of stimulation, which surpasses the usual pleasures. As we continuously expose ourselves to this elevated stimulation, our brains adapt to establish a new threshold for what is considered normal. What once used to be an overwhelming experience becomes our new baseline. Consequently, our brain starts producing fewer of these pleasurable neurochemicals in response to the same stimulus. As a result, we require more of the stimulus to rekindle that old sense of pleasure. When we don't receive the stimulus we crave, desires intensify, and in the case of pornography consumption, this behavior may increase as a means of compensation. Another noteworthy brain change is sensitization. When the brain's regular reward system is bombarded with exceptionally high levels of stimulation, it begins to safeguard itself by shutting down its dopamine receptor neurons. In essence, it turns off the receptors to shield them from excessive stimulation. However, the sending neurons continue to transmit signals. The consequence of this is a depletion of dopamine, which, furthermore, this chronic exposure to high levels of stimulation leads to a reduced responsiveness to dopamine, which in turn can make you feel down or unable to experience pleasure. Unfortunately, the only way to get that extra dopamine release to feel good again is by increasing the consumption of pornography. It's essential to recognize that your brain has essentially set a trap for itself. The craving for dopamine is so potent that it can override the body's natural defense mechanisms against engaging in unrewarding behaviors. This is why many individuals continue to watch pornography, even when they are aware of its harmful nature from a moral standpoint. In simple terms, when you stop providing your brain with the dopamine it craves, you undergo a withdrawal-like process. This detoxification process, akin to what occurs with drugs, can result in various sexual dysfunctions and mental health disorders. Compulsive pornography consumers often report higher depressive symptoms and a generally lower quality of life compared to those who do not indulge in pornography. Additionally, individuals who self-identify as having compulsive sexual behaviors are also affected by these consequences. Individuals who identified as compulsive pornography users exhibited more pronounced brain reactivity compared to those without this compulsion. This heightened reactivity was particularly evident when viewing pornography. Notably, the same underlying brain networks associated with alcohol and other more potent drugs were activated underscoring the connection between addiction to pornography and mental health. This association between pornography addiction and mental health problems is closely linked to conditions such as depression, anger, and anxiety. When individuals become acutely aware of the addictive nature of pornography, the sense of losing control over their behavior can lead to substantial distress. 
This mental turmoil can lead someone to isolate themselves from the world, avoiding social gatherings and interactions. This withdrawal is often a result of social anxiety, which, in simple terms, is a discomfort or unease around other people. People grappling with social anxiety may feel like there's not much they can add to social situations, and this can be exacerbated by a pornography addiction. The addiction itself can contribute to social stigmatization due to several factors. One reason is that it fosters a sense of discomfort, making addicts hesitant to openly discuss their addiction, consequently disrupting their daily lives with persistent unease. It's worth noting that approximately 58% of pornography addicts worldwide have been diagnosed with depression, according to data from the Instituto Salto Pessoa. Those who struggle with addiction, whether it's pornography or a similar type, often turn to their addictive behaviors as a temporary escape from their negative emotions, such as anger, sadness, and loneliness. Unfortunately, this coping mechanism can easily lead to severe depression, further alienating individuals from their surroundings. The deeper an individual sinks into addiction, the weaker their connection with friends and family becomes. As social beings, we naturally seek relationships and connections with those around us, but addiction gradually strips this away. Research indicates that one in every fourth addict confesses to feeling lonely, and this sense of isolation is exacerbated by the increased use of pornography. Loneliness, in turn, drives further pornography consumption, creating a destructive cycle. Engaging in pornography has been linked to a range of issues, both for individuals and society as a whole. These problems extend beyond physical concerns, such as erectile dysfunction. So, what can one do to overcome this addiction? Firstly, it's crucial to acknowledge that there is a problem and make a personal commitment to address it. This decision is one that only you can make. Accepting that the addiction has severely impacted your life and the lives of those around you is an act of courage. Be strong and decide to make a change. If you've made the choice to change, seek help from someone who will listen and support you. Take your time, break away from your usual environment, and keep yourself occupied with new activities like courses, sports, or outings with friends. This way, you'll have less opportunity to dwell on your addiction and can gradually free yourself from it. Lastly, remove any triggers that encourage you to consume pornography. Dispose of magazines, videos, and all related materials, or implement internet barriers to prevent access to such content. Depending on your specific circumstances, seeking medical and psychological assistance may be necessary to combat this destructive force that disrupts lives, families, and dreams. Stay strong and thank you for watching. The topic discussed on the issue of pornography addiction is a complex and relevant topic in current times. It is essential to approach this issue with empathy, understanding and consideration for the well-being of those affected by this addiction. Firstly, it is important to recognize that pornography can become a real addiction, affecting the mental and emotional health of individuals. This addiction can have negative implications for relationships, everyday life, and physical health. Therefore, treating porn addiction as a serious issue is critical. Research highlights the connection between pornography addiction and problems such as depression, anxiety, social isolation, and erectile dysfunction. Understanding these impacts is crucial to offering support to those struggling with addiction. However, it is equally important to approach pornography addiction with compassion and without judgment. People facing this challenge have not consciously chosen to fall into this addiction, and blaming or shaming is not a productive solution. Providing help and support to individuals who want to overcome addiction is essential. It's a difficult journey, but it's possible to overcome this addiction with proper treatment, including psychological counseling, support from friends and family, and a personal commitment to change. Furthermore, it is important to highlight the need for education and awareness about the risks associated with excessive pornography consumption, especially among young people. This can help prevent addiction from developing early on. In summary, pornography addiction is a serious issue that requires understanding, support, and appropriate treatment. Approaching the issue with empathy and compassion is essential to help people overcome this challenge and improve their quality of life.